automations. They let you change things automatically over time, like fade-ins or turning something on and off. Let's start with an example. Look at the synth. Let's fade it in using automations. We'll make a selection where we want the automation clip to be placed. Now we'll find the synth in the channel rack and right click what we want to automate, which in this case is the volume knob. Hit create automation clip. It will appear in the playlist. At the start and end of a clip, we can see control points. Let's drag down the start one. There is a lot more to this, so let's go through it with our filter automation. You know, this effect. For that, we need a low pass filter. A low pass filter cuts off the high frequencies. Or on my voice, it sounds like this. Let's add one to this synth. I'll add the effect called Fruity Filter. By adjusting the cutoff, you decide how much of the high frequencies it should remove. Now we'll create an automation clip. Right click the cutoff knob, create automation clip, and in the playlist we'll find it and change the control points for it. Between two control points we find the tension handle. With this we can adjust the shape of the curve. This is from a full beginner series on FL Studio. You find it here on the YouTube channel. 